All right, this is our relatively new Venta Air Washer model LW35. We started using it this season. Had it for about three months. It's developed this interesting rattle, which you can hear. The noise drives my other half crazy, so I can't keep it in the bedroom. We're currently using an older version of this unit because it's quieter. Sounds like the noise is coming from where the fan meets the rotating discs. So I'm gonna throw it on the bench and see if I can fix it. Just for comparison, this is our older Venta air washer. We use it in the bedroom because it's much quieter than the new one. This unit's about 10 years old. In order to save you some time, I'm gonna tell you what the problem was up front, and that way you don't need to watch the entire video. But in short, the when I was spinning the fan, I was hearing a clicking coming from here. So I knew that it wasn't the teeth slipping on the disc stack, although some user did recommend flipping the disc stack just to see if the teeth would catch better. But that wasn't my problem. If I'm spinning the fan and I'm hearing something clicking up in the gear, then I know there's a problem somewhere in here. And because the unit's only a few uh, months old, and this is German engineering, um, I found it hard to believe that I already had to replace a gear or the mounting ring or the coupling. So all I did was I detached the coupling from the gear, I flipped the gear over, reattached the coupling, and that was probably the, the issue is the coupling wasn't seated properly, and that solved the problem. So now I'll show you how to uh, flip the gear and, and make sure the coupling's in properly. All right, so I've unplugged the unit. Now I'm gonna lift off the upper housing and remove the lower housing. And to open up the upper housing, what you do is you press on the two tabs on either side of the power and fan speed buttons, pull back the solid sides, and then flip back the slotted sides. Then you can lift out the fan motor and unplug it here. And while you've got it open, it's a good time to take a dusting cloth and clean off the fan and the motor and the inner housing. All right, now we're looking at the fan and motor assembly. This is the fan motor. This is the fan. This is the coupling here. And this is the gearbox. And the way the unit works is, you'll notice that the teeth here move back and forth as the fan spins. And that engages the disc stacks, which cause them to spin in the unit. So the way I fixed my clicking problem was I literally just flipped this around, flipped the gearbox around. In order to do that, you grab hold of the armatures here and you turn the gearbox kind of a 90 degree and one side will pop out and then the second side will pop out. And you'll see it's attached to the coupling here and you'll hold the coupling with two fingers and pull it out, okay? Then you'll flip the gear around reattach the coupling. And the sensation you get when you do this is similar to when you inflate a beach ball. It's got that plastic rubber nipple on it. And that's the feeling you'll get. And you wanna make sure that that's seated in there well. Then you'll turn the gear 90 degrees, put it back into the armature. And the you'll notice there's a little plastic nipple on this as well, which is why you're turning it 90 degrees to get it back in. And that solved my problem. So I hope it solves your problem as well. So now I'm gonna show you how to put the unit back together, which is the opposite of how we took it apart. While you have it open, again, you wanna clean out in here and wipe off the fan and motor assembly. And once you've done that, to you take your fan motor assembly, you'll find the power input. You'll attach that to the power cord and then drop the fan motor assembly into the upper housing. Make sure these tabs are up, push these uh, solid sides down, bring up your slotted sides, then bring up your solid sides and lock the tabs. And I hope that uh, this solves your clicking problem as it solved mine, because it's so much nicer to be able to sleep at night without hearing a clicking noise. If this video has been helpful, do me a favor and please like it. And thank you so much for watching. No more clicking, it's nice and quiet. Shh.